Welcome to another game of Catan. Today we are in first position and looking at the board, I'm seeing the 4, 10, 5, 5, 10, 9, maybe going off to the right, getting on a solid amount of ore, solid amount of wood. Now the wood's not that impressive on this board. Also a very low amount of wheat. So I'm actually thinking of taking this 5, 10, 8 spot, which gives us the most amount of wheat, decent amount of sheep, and a lot of flexibility here. So I feel pretty good about this spot. There's also a good amount of ore on this board. So on the way back, there's a good chance that we get some ore. Even this two, six, nine spot would be pretty good for us. So we'll take this. Usually I like to be on ore, but in a situation like this where the wheat is so sparse, I think it's actually more important to get on the wheat. And there's a decent amount of ore outs here. In second position, I think you consider the 5, 10, 9, 6, 9, 3. What else makes sense? Maybe even the 8, 4, 3. There's a lot of decent spots. The 8, 4, 3 gives you a good amount of weed as well. Not a good amount, but on this board, you probably don't want to place on the 2, 5. So getting on this 3 is not bad. I don't like the 11, 12, 6 that much here, just because even though you're on a lot of war, not a ton of wheat to balance out with it, but blue ops for the 3, 11, 6, I think it's pretty low production for your first placement. I don't know if I'd agree with this, but he does get on both an ore and a brick spot, so he's probably going for ore wheat sheep. Plenty of sheep outs as well, which is the only other thing he needs. The 11, 6, 12 could be good for him, but still not a ton of production is pretty easy to shut its game down just by blocking this six. I'd be happy with the 10, 9, 11, 2, 6, 9, 9, 11, 4. A lot of, a lot of outs for me here. But I think the 11, 4, 9 gets taken. I definitely will get on some ore though. Okay, green takes the five, ten, nine. What does he pair that with? Honestly, probably this eight, three, four. He's on a ton of wood though. Where's the wood port at? Okay, the wood port's not super helpful. Honestly, it could be helpful for us though. The 6, 11, 12 gives us a little bit more wheat, a little bit more sheep, and the most amount of ore. Plus, we can get to that wood port, which is helpful since we're on such a high amount of wood. Also, a lot of wood on the board in general, so it's going to make that wood quite a bit more valuable. So green does take the 3, 8, 4. Not a ton of wheat. I think wheat's going to be the X factor of this game. But decent setup. Looks like he's kind of going for ore wheat sheep as well. I have a feeling, well, red could take this 4, 8, 10. I think the 4, 8, 10 is pretty decent. And then he goes down to the brick port, doubles up on the 10. Oh, he doesn't. Interesting. I'm very surprised this 8, 4, 10 is open. I am really tempted to get on it because the coordinated 10s, and just because it's such high production. But I really hate leaving this um, six spot open. Now I could see blue taking the two ten nine here. Gets him a little extra wheat, gets him a dev card, gets him his sheep. Because if he takes the 11, 12, six, he can get shut down by just a six block. So we'll have some decent um, options here. Okay, but blue takes the 4, 8, 10. I think that makes sense given the amount of production the 4, 8, 10 offers. But he doesn't have sheep until he gets to this 3. So I'm really tempted to take this 6, 5, 12 now just because it'll give us a lot of sheep for that sheep port. 
It also hurts uh, Blue's expansion opportunities. However, the 6, 11, 12 does give us an extra bit of wheat here. Gives us the dev card to start. But I don't think I could turn down such a high amount of sheep to start with. I could also take the 2, 9, 10, but I like to be on the highest amount of war here if possible. And I don't want anyone to shut my 10 down. So I think I am going to do this and then point left. It'd be nice to get that starting dev, but... Um, I don't think it's worth sacrificing two pips for it, especially given that we're close to that sheep port. I do think we'll get blocked here, probably on the six. We look pretty solid, especially with the wheat. I know a lot of people are going to want to trade for it. We will have to solicit some trades out of red because he's sitting on a lot of brick here, not as much wood. question is do we want to fight for the sheep port first or do we want to fight for this 11 12 spot or even doubling up on the six looks pretty good okay there is some brick on the board blue really wants to get to this 3 8 now that we've cut them off from the cut them off from the sheep So we could four for one for a brick. I don't think we're gonna do that. We'll probably just get the dev card here. See if anyone wants sheep. I do not think so, but we'll try. We'll offer two. Okay, no one takes it. Happy to see this. This is a good starting uh, card. Hopefully use this for two brick to settle. And I'm tempted, I think I'm going to take this sheep port first, because we're already sitting on quite a bit of sheep, and it'll help balance our resources. And brick's the only thing we don't produce, so I think whenever you use a year of plenty, it should be on resources that you don't typically produce. Okay, green with the early settle. Green might be a threat here. He's also on a decent amount of wheat. Okay, we really don't have anything for a fly coming at me. <laughs> I'm inside. Uh, but we don't have enough to settle here, and I don't think anyone needs the sheep. Lost for two cards. Blue definitely can offer me two cards here. Yep, so he offers me the two wood. And he doesn't settle. Interesting. He might have ran out of time there. I didn't catch it. But I'm glad we got two cards from that. We'll try to get two cards again, but he makes a trade with blue. Maybe should have taken that. Then we could have definitely settled this next turn. Oh, on the four. I could see us getting stolen from here, but at least we don't have another settle or even a road. We're actually just sitting at four cards. So... But he steals from us anyway. Wow. Okay, well, we do have the settlement now. It's tempted to double up on the six. I'm not going to lie. Because it's so hard to come around with roads. But the sheep port just... We're producing so much sheep, so it's just the better call here. It'll just help us be a little bit more flexible. But I think next priority is to double up on the six, even before getting on the three to one port. I have a feeling we're going to get blocked quite a bit here, though. So getting these knights early game is going to be important.
Okay, blue really wanting, sorry, green really wanting wheat here. This five is huge. I am a little surprised green isn't going for the six, actually. Wow, still no knight. But our eights are hitting. Now, I don't think blue is actually in that great of a position. He's on this six, but the ratio of his resources are really not good. I mean, he's really relying on the threes, so it's going to be difficult for him to compete with us. Red, I can see doing well, especially when they get to this 2-5, which I'm sure is going to be their next priority, or the 3-1, to one, but I think the 2-5 is pretty important. Okay, looks like blue is going to fight us for this six spot. And you could very well beat us here. It's not necessarily a priority, but, or not a priority, it's a priority, but if we don't get on it, it's not the end of our game. I still think we're sitting in a decent spot here. We definitely have to keep getting dev cards and still no knight, wow. That will help us though. Hopefully get us a settle on the six and then a road over to this three to one, keep us a little bit more flexible. But I really want to double up on the six here. I want to say no one has wheat, but I'm afraid to talk in the chat. <laughs> Green just puts an Abario against blue. Tired of seeing his trades. Yeah, so green's starting to fight us now, which is not good. When he gets on this 3-1, to one, it's going to be a little even more dangerous. I think red blocks the 6, though. Makes the most sense. Steal from us. Yep. Yeah, we're definitely going to get blocked a lot here since we don't have any wheat. Does green have enough for the settle? No. So I think he's looking for another dev card. We're definitely going to block him. I'm tempted to block the three just to really limit our opponent's wheat. Definitely stealing from green here. He has the brick. But we get the wheat. See if anyone has brick or sheep for us. Okay, blue rolls a precious two. That really helps him now that he's sitting on that nine. There we go. Solid three block. And green does not have the knight. We might be able to get a trade here because I know everyone needs wheat. Okay, I think we're just going to go for the dev card. Well, let's see if anyone does this first. No? Okay, we'll go for the knight. That's good because I think we're going to get blocked anyway, so... We'll have this to uh, unblock us. Six is really the only thing that hurts us a lot here. And the five. But everyone wants wheat. OK, 
Okay, I think this goes on our six again, steals from us. Hopefully gets our wood. Yep. We definitely need to keep our eyes on red here. Yeah, he's already got another city now. But green does have brick for us. Did we get the ore. Okay, so next time we'll hopefully have enough to either two for one or port for the wheat. That'll help us double up on the six. We're ahead on knights. Looks like blue didn't get a knight either. But I don't want to give them another sheep for it. Plus, I think we can get roll a couple more sheep to potentially two for one. So if he's going to use that sheep for a dev card, I want to prevent that. Okay, we hit the six. So red's got brick now as well. Okay, now all we need is another sheep. There we go. I really don't want red to get on this three to one though, which very well could happen here. I think red's gonna have to be a target now for us. All right, blue's already out. Just kidding, he's connected again. Yeah, we are looking pretty solid here. Red will be a threat though once he gets on this 2-5. It'd be really smart of him to place one more road and cut us off. But that's a good point, I think. Um, Blocking the nine next is a good idea. The problem was too that blue and red were, sorry, blue and green were fighting for us, fighting us for dev cards, so. Wow, the three hits, that's huge for blue. And green, green gets a city now as well. We even trade it for the wood. Okay, we'll have to go for the knight then. And we get the mono. Man, it's getting... These knights must all be at the end of the deck. The mono's not bad though. I think we can mono the brick with it or mono a big ore play. But we will have to keep getting knights because... I think our opponents are also going to be going for army. At least green, because I don't see what other win condition he has. But red and blue could also fight for road, so it's not certain that they try to fight us for army. Okay, there's a lot of wood on the board now. I 
So red already has, well, still it's four. It's four or any time the nine rolls. God, I could, I could mono the wood, but I don't think it helps us that much, honestly. I don't even know if it gets us to settle, so I think we pass. Probably going to steal from us, though, again here. Solid block takes our wood. Good thing is we don't have any wheat to spare, even. Oh, and he puts it on the five with the aggressive knight. Yeah. This could be bad for us. He's definitely going to keep going for the dev cards, it looks like. And that five block's really tough for us. We do have this 11 now, though, too, which is good. And we are sitting on the mono. I think red's on four ore and two brick. Let's see, what did Red trade? He traded it for a wood, for two brick. So now he just needs the wheat and the sheep. Well, we have a city now. I'm tempted to put it on the six, actually, but... Hmm. The wheat's super useful for us. Yeah, I think we put it here. Because if that five's unblocked, that gives us two wheat, and wheat's definitely the most precious resource. But next will be the six, five, twelve for sure. Also, once we get on this three to one port. Every time the eight hits, it'll be a free card for us. I'm not too worried about army, though, because we are on just so many more resources for it. I'm mostly worried about red taking our 3-1 port away, which makes a lot of sense. But I think he still needs quite a bit more... Resources. I think he can definitely settle, though. Yeah, which he does. Plays the knight. Probably steals from us. Takes our wood. That's not too bad. Honestly, it might be worth monoing the wheat. Yeah, just because that three hit. Ah, but there's a lot of ore on the board as well. I think we might want to model the ore just so we can get another dev card. I think that's what we're going to do. This also does give us the settle, though, too. Oh, I don't know, though. We do want to be ahead. Yeah, I mean, the settle isn't as necessary. I think we go for the uh, knight here.
And then we can get one more dev card, but we don't have the time. Didn't click fast enough. That's what's tough about playing these quicker game modes. We still got our knight, though. Okay, this is good. Blue's connecting. Blue's not as scary to me as red here. But we have to keep our eye on blue as well. He did just hit a three. It's just red nine, red's nine is dangerous, especially now that he's on the two five. Green, I think, is just, he has to build to it, so it's going to just take him too long. I think he has a VP there as well. Okay, does he have the city? Probably puts it on this eight three four. Nope. Get the sheep. Okay, we are going to settle and then we'll use that to three for one. Yeah, I think we just need the knight here. I know I can get a city. But we need a secure army because it's not a guarantee. Okay, now we have the win in hand. But we could definitely seven out here. I don't think this five has really hit much. I thought our sheep port would play a, a much larger factor. I maybe should have taken those just so I had some more buffer cards in case the seven hits. Because I know he's just getting a knight and I think we're going to have it now. Okay, so I think we have it unless someone has a mono, which green could have. In which case... Yeah, I think that would be the only thing that stops us here. Yep, they don't play the knight. But we rolled a seven. Okay, let's get rid of our wood. Let's see, does he take the sheep here? Hopefully he takes the sheep. Oh, he takes the ore. Okay, who has ore for us? Blue might actually. Yes, he does. And we still roll the six anyway. Okay, good game. So the fours rolled not that much. A lot of eights, decent amount of sixes, fives. I think our setup was really strong, though. Getting on this wheat was definitely the right call. I think a lot of people like the place on the ore first by default. I know I've done that before, but getting on a rare resource, especially something like wheat that you use for almost every um, everything in Catan is super important. So I think getting on this 5, 8, 10 spot was the right call. And then this 6, 5, 12 also. I think was good. I mean, the 6, 12, 11 isn't bad, but that then gives blue an expansion spot. And, um, well, not an expansion spot, but it, it loses us that extra two pips of sheep, which I think played a factor here, given the fives uh, rolling as much as they did. So I think that was solid. It took a while to get those knights, but we got them. 
any case, good game. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.